Okay, welcome back to my little workshop. We're going to take a look at a uh, Madhawk 300. This is an X-Heli product available through Nitro Planes. And uh, what we're going to look at today is if you have a, a little warble as a vibration in the head, a couple of things could be going on. Could be the fly bar is bent, and this one it looks like it is just a, a little bit, or it could also be the, uh, the main shaft. So we're going to start by replacing the fly bar, and I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. First off, let's just take our cockpit canopy off, put that aside so it's not in the way. Now, when you do the uh, the fly bar, in the rotor head, you're going to see where the fly bar is. There's a little Phillips screw, a uh, little Phillips screw there. So we're just going to take this out. There it is. See the very small. And it's always a good idea to keep, you know, a little dish handy, a little magnetic dish you can put your your little parts in because they are quite small. Flip your helicopter over, and there's a little screw on this side. And I'll take some still images of this to show you, so you can uh, see this illustrated very plainly. Okay, now what we've got to do is take these little little bearings out. Uh, they're so small you can't really get anything in there. You just kind of have to, you know, give them a little tap and try to get them out. They they should they should come out quite easily, but. Oh, the other thing you can do, uh, these brass counterweights on the ends. Go ahead and just unscrew them, because you're going to utilize those for the new fly bar you're putting in. And the other thing you're going to have to take off are the control links. Now they just pop off. Okay, there it is. Uh, what I did is uh, to get these tiny little bearings out, they're very small, I'll take some pictures for you. You have to take those out. Sometimes if you just put a pair of pliers on the end of the um, fly bar, just wiggle it a little bit while you're tapping it. Use a magnetic tray so they don't go anywhere. Uh, the nut should actually come out. The next thing you want to do is just remove the um, uh, the linkage from the rotor head. You can they, they just snap off, or you can utilize a, uh, a little tool. They do have them in a toolkit, so you can use those. And then your fly bar should just come out. It slides in one way. I'm going to. Take a look and see which way that is here. There it is. See? And your fly bar, yeah, it comes right out. So now we can go ahead and replace it. As you can see, this one is a little bit, uh, a little bit bent, and that could be why we got the vibration. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in and uh, take a look now and run it after I get it installed and see if uh, that was actually the problem. I should have a fly bar right here. And you can order these through Nitro Planes, x -Heli, and uh, there they are. So we're going to go ahead and get that little fella installed. So I can see it here. Good. Once you have this in place, you can go ahead and pop your little bearings in. I'm gonna just connect that little control rod for a second so I can fit my bearing in there. 
Okay, there's one side in. the other side it's installed now I'm going to go ahead and put the two screws in and that will secure the bearing right into the fly bar One side. It helps if your screwdriver has a little magnetic tip to it, holds the screw on real nicely. And Okay, now what we're going to do is put our little clevises, our connecting rods, back on. As you'll see on these, there's it's kind of hard to see, but there's one hole that's bigger than the other. And uh, so the larger hole is on the bottom on the fly rod. And just clip that into place, and that attaches to your head. The rotor head. And there, that side's on. And then you can just put the brass counterweight on the other side, screw that on till the bottom's out. And then do the other side. Remember the largest loop goes on the bottom on the fly rod. other side right to the rotor head there we go. One side there it is okay make sure that it operates freely put the counterweight on the other side and the fly bar has been replaced. All right, now I'm just gonna try this out and see if I still have a little or a lot of vibration. If I get a lot of vibration, it could be that the main shaft is bent as well. And if not, it was just the fly bar. See if we can get this to bind. There we go. Okay. Let me unplug this for a second. There is a little mistake here. And when you do this, you got to make sure that everything is connected properly. I disconnected the control linkage through the uh, from the swash plate up, so. Just make sure you have that connected, and they also go into these guide slots on the rotor head. through the guide slot and right back onto the swash plate. Okay. 
we got it. it actually dis disconnected this. Probably be easier if you attach it to the swash plate first and then up to the head. there through the guide and right to the rotor head I think I just disconnected one on the other side there it goes that's done you can just pop that back in and then just after you get this done just give it a good once over and make sure you have everything right where it should be yeah it looks fine and then we're going to plug it in and just check everything out see that, one, right and left. See, that looks fine let's hold it down and We'll run it and see what happens here. See if we get a lot of vibration still. Okay, that looks pretty good. We are getting a little bit of vibration here. So it could be that we do have to replace the uh, rotor head. No, actually that looks good. That's just normal. So I think we're okay as far as the replacement of the fly bar. And if we need to replace the main shaft, we'll take a look at that in a uh, another episode. So there it is, fly bar replacement, pretty straightforward, uh, really nothing complicated about it. Uh, if those bearings are difficult to, to uh, try to get those to come out, that would be these little, uh, where the screw goes through, that little bearing in there, just take the uh, fly bar with a pair of pliers and rotate it a little bit until they loosen up. Then they'll just pop right out for you. And uh, uh, that's it. So as we need to do repairs to this in the future, I'll do a little video clip, show you how to do it. And uh, then you can go ahead and do your own. So thanks for joining us. Also, if you'd like to read up on the review I did for uh, Healy Pilot, uh, it's in Volume 3. <clears throat> this is put out by uh, Fly RC. This is their Healy Pilot Volume 3, and uh, you'll see the uh, Mad Hawk 300 in here, and uh, you can read the review. It's uh, quite easy to fly from the factory, pretty easy setup. You can move the linkage over two places to the right on the top of the rotor blades are, and uh, get more control out of it so you can fly on those windy days. So um, good luck with your project. It's a great little helicopter. I've enjoyed it. And we'll be back with more updates as time goes by.